and the Indian Space Research Organization today shared an image of the Chandrayaan-3 rover Pragyan rolling out on the moon's surface. Sharing the video in a tweet, ISRO wrote, and here is how Chandrayaan-3 rover ramped down from the lander to the lunar surface. And this is the tweet that they have put out and here is how the Chandrayaan-3 rover ramped down from the lander to the lunar surface, showing exactly what happened. And I'm being joined by Pallav Bagla right now. Pallav, uh, thank you for joining us. Take us through these visuals that we are seeing right now after the successful soft landing of Chandrayaan-3 as the rover just ramped down. Very exciting images, very exciting. I am ecstatic. This is what I have been waiting for. These are the first selfies from the lunar surface for India. The Vikram lander has taken a selfie of its ramp and on which the Pragyan rover is rolling down and going on to the moon's surface. So the first selfies from the lunar surface for India arrive. This is the 21st century Instagram generation. For them, this image will remain etched in their minds when India reached the moon, soft landed, created and scripted history. But there is more you can see in that image. In that image, if you see closely, there is a plaque. On that plaque is India's flag and the ISRO logo. So what a beautiful feeling not just Vikram lander on the lunar surface, but now the rover also on the lunar surface, India's flag, India's flag all the way onto the lunar surface. And if you look even more closely, you will see the tracks of uh, the Pragyan rover's six legs etched as, a, if, I, if I could call that as a footprint of India on the lunar surface. And now this footprint of India would, is etched for eternity. There is no wind erosion, there is no uh, rain, there is no rain erosion there. This image of this imprint of India is etched forever. So the Vikram lander, the Pragyan rover and the two orbiters and the scientists at ISRO scripted history which will remain etched in our minds. But what is the future now? The future is the world is going to get some good science from the lunar surface nearer the South Pole for the first time. The Vikram lander has scientific instruments. The Pragyan rover has scientific instruments. And now for the next 14 days, science, scientific activity on the lunar surface can begin. And the Indian scientists will get great amount of data. And that is the kind of data which the world has been looking for. Because the nearer the south pole of the moon is an unexplored territory. So whatever data comes from there is brilliant. So the geopolitical messaging accomplished by a soft landing. Now the science can begin. And the first selfies that have arrived from the lunar surface of the Vikram taking a picture of its ramp with the Pratyan rover rolling down is a beautiful moment which India will cherish for a long time. And if you have time, let me add one thing. There were many naysayers who were saying, where are the images? Where are the images? The images are here. And when the mission operation is on, the computers on board Vikram are performing the mission operations. The videos are, are taken. They are buffered and stored. And whenever Vikram or the orbiter come in the line of sight of Earth or where the antennas are, they are downloaded and processed. So all those who doubted uh, where are the pictures on 23rd, here are the pictures. Now there can be no naysayers. India's flag, India's imprint, very firmly planted nearer the south pole of the moon and India scripted history. I am delighted and excited, as right. are the scientists. Right. Thank you very much, Pallav Bagla, for joining us.